Hey again, it's Eric from LED Grow Lights Depot. Today I'm going to unbox, review, and par test the Mars Hydro Mars 2 400 LED Grow Light. The Mars 2 series was updated in spring 2018. The obvious updates include different diodes, a new PCB, and a new logo. There could be a few updates on the fans, drivers, or heat sinks, but we are not aware of any of these. The Mars 2 400 fixture is best for growing plants that require a lot of light in small spaces, acting as a supplementary light, or growing in medium-sized spaces on a budget. Let's dive a little deeper into the specs on this popular fixture. Also, toward the end of this video, I'll tell you how you can make money off of this light or other products in our store, so stay tuned. The Mars 2 400 measures 14 inches by 14 inches by 3.5 inches and weighs about 13 pounds. The fixture contains high power LEDs mounted to a metal core printed circuit board. The board is backed by an aluminum heat sink and cooled by two cooling fans. The driver will accept an input voltage of 85 volts to 265 volts. All of these components are encased in a black metal housing. The light has two switches on the rear of the unit one grow switch and one bloom switch. There's a socket for the three prong power cord and another socket for daisy chaining this unit to other units. Overall, the upgraded Mars 2 400 is a compact, affordable fixture that's designed to replace about a 250 watt metal halide or HPS grow light. The Mars Hydro Mars 2 400 is rated for 110 to 240 volt AC power. It draws about 162 watts at the wall and 1.39 amps at 120 volts and around 0.69 amps at 240 volts. When the grow switch is on, the unit draws around 106 watts and when the bloom switch is on, the light draws about 55 watts. The unit only emits 638 BTUs of heat. Mars Hydro uses 5 watt high power Epistar LEDs in their Mars 2 series grow lights. These diodes are a good balance between cost and light output. The diode wavelengths used in this unit include 440 nanometers, 460 nanometers, 630 nanometers, 660 nanometers, 730 nanometers, and 2400K to 3000K. The spectrum contains mostly blue and red with some green and some far red. The nearly 2 to 1 ratio of red to blue helps drive yields while still adding plenty of blue light to ensure good quality flower. The grow switch is recommended for veg since it contains more blue to help keep plants stout while reducing energy consumption. During flower, it is recommended that both switches are turned on for maximum intensity. Now some people think that they should only turn on the flower switch during the bloom stage, but this is incorrect since the light output would be low and will not assist in large flower development. The flower footprint of this fixture is recommended by the manufacturer for a 6.25 square foot area or about 2.5 feet by 2.5 feet at 18 inches above the canopy. The veg footprint is recommended for a 4.5 foot by 4.5 foot area at 24 inches from the canopy. However, based off of the wattage draw, I would be comfortable telling you that the flower footprint might be closer to about 2 feet by 2 feet and the veg footprint around a 3.5 foot by 3.5 foot area. Mars Hydro tested the PAR on this unit and you can see those readings on the screen now. I also tested the PPFD of this fixture in a 4x4 Gorilla Grow Tent. However, the area measured was about a 2.5 foot by 2.5 foot rectangle directly beneath the fixture. And as always, keep in mind that the reflective nature of this tent could increase PAR readings everywhere. So let's see those PPFD readings now. Our first reading is going to be at 18 inches. So we're right at about 225 PPFD. Now I'm going to move this in about a 2.5 foot by 2.5 foot area square right below the fixture. So you can see at the edge there is about 160 and in the corner it's just below 100. And just to note I have both switches on so both grow and bloom switches are on right now. Our second reading is going to be at 15 inches. So notice the higher par, that's 380 PPFD. Just going to slowly move it to the edge. About 130. And into the corner, about 75. And the other edge, about 140. And slowly moving it back towards the center. Gonna move it around a little bit, 
look at some of our readings. All right, and the final distance is at 12 inches, so 800 PPFD at 12 inches. So we're gonna have high PPFD right underneath the fixture, but you can see that it's gonna drop off pretty quickly because the fixture is so close. So on the edge here, it's about 140. And in the corner, about 50, so really low here. So if you have the light 12 inches from your plans, you're gonna to wanna to keep the footprint about a two by two area. Just because once you start getting outside that area, those numbers are gonna drop off pretty quickly. All right. All right, looks good. In the rare case that you have a problem with your fixture, all Mars Hydro lights come with a two-year manufacturer's warranty. As you saw during the unboxing, the fixture comes with a warranty card just in case you need it. In the US, the fixtures are shipped from California or New Jersey. Mars Hydro products also ship from Canada, the UK, Germany, and Australia. The warehouse in Germany serves pretty much every country in the EU. If you're in one of these countries, there are no duties and taxes since the items ship from within your country. The lights even ship with your local plug type. The price on the Mars Hydro Mars 2 400 in the USA is only $164.99 plus free shipping and no tax. If you want to learn more or purchase the Mars Hydro Mars 2 400 LED grow light, view the link in the description. There you can find pricing for this unit in the countries I previously mentioned. And don't forget to give this video a like. If you like this video and want more content like this, subscribe to our channel in the upper left of the screen. And do you have a YouTube channel or website and want to make money promoting our products? Well, you can sign up for a free affiliate program in the description below. And follow us on Instagram and Facebook for deals, sales, LED grow light giveaways, and unique content around LED grow lighting. Till next time.